Hey guys, this is going to be my out of box review for the Master Grade Zaku Canon. This is the unicorn color version that was an online exclusive kit. And um, it's pretty cool, so let's take a look. Um, this is currently, uh, as far as I know, the only way to get a Master Grade Zaku Canon that's using the uh, 2.0 Zaku 2 inner frame. So this kit is really, really awesome uh, to build. It's really solid, really sturdy. The articulation is really, really good uh, just because of that Zaku 2 uh, 2.0 frame. So uh, yeah, aside from what we were looking at here, it's got a lot of extra stuff as well. And one thing about this kit that maybe some people will like uh, it's one of those kits that has a lot of guns and weapons, and it can actually hold them all at once, too, so that's kind of cool. Let's I'll show you that now. Aside from the big cannon on the back here, which can move uh, up and down, of course, like that. And there you go nothing too fancy. It also has this little feature here where this little back part does pull open like that. I guess it's mm, supposed to be like the shell casing flies out of there maybe. I'm not sure. Anyway, that's kind of interesting. And then these cannons on the side, mm, they've got the handles here that move and the hands do work with pegs but there's no peg on these because uh, they're connected to the backpack so it doesn't really need the peg to support the weight or anything. So the handles move and then so you could just have these just kind of floating freely like that and then holding weapons in each hand. So the weapons we've got, we've got the Zaku Bazooka here. It's pretty cool. It has a little piece that kind of acts as the flap. Uh, cover for the site. I don't have any of the clear pieces in for the cameras because those are kind of hard to get out So when I go to paint this, I don't want to have to cover those. I'll put those in last We've got the Zaku to heat hawk This is just one piece and then it's got a little connector piece which I have snapped on there you get it off. This little connector piece will help you to snap it to the waist armor So that just pops on there like that One piece. Yeah Mm. It'd be nice if the blade was two pieces like on the RG, but oh well. Then we've got the Zaku machine gun. Just standard here, sight moves, extra handle moves. The clip can come off and be attached to the skirt armor. Uh, so nothing really new or exciting in those weapons. It's all pretty standard Zaku stuff. So, but these cannons on the side can be rotated around and then brought up like this to just kind of chill in the back if you don't want to actually be using them. So again it just comes around like that and there you go. Now it's not using the cannons. There you go. So uh, that's it for the weapons but you do get plenty of other stuff with this kit in terms of extra parts. You've got loads of extra parts. Here's a few on there. Here's a few here. Here's a, just a couple frame parts there. Lots and lots of extra tubing pieces. There's a whole set there. I think on this runner we only used what? One piece right there. That was for the antenna on the top. And then we've got a gray one. Here's where we actually used all the tubes. But still got some parts for the thigh armor there. And a gray antenna if you wanted. You can see there. And we've got white tubes too. So here we've actually used the armor parts. Those were for the thighs. But uh, more tubes. And there's still more. We got uh, foot armor there in green, shoulder armor in green, spikes in green if you wanted, that'd be kind of cool. And 
more stuff. The knee joint caps, arm pieces, bottoms of the feet in gray. All sorts of choices if you didn't want to actually paint the kit. And then we've got uh, like the inner frame for the regular Zaku head. And there's a handful of parts here actually that I cut out. Hmm that I cut out by accident because I thought, oh, well, there's the piece I need and just cutting them out before actually checking the manual and noticing that it's not actually the right parts. Uh, one cool thing, here's a uh, action base adapter as well. One cool thing is there is a option for the uh, top of the head. This is called, I think, <laughs> according to the manual, it's called like the rabbit. Uh, rabbit antenna or rabbit option. Anyway, instead of the single antenna, you can do this one, which is kind of cool, interesting. I think whenever I actually go to finish and paint this kit and everything, I'll probably use this one because it's kind of more unique, interesting looking. Although just the antenna is kind of cool too. I don't know, but you've got choices. That's always a good thing. Here's all the clear parts for the cameras and stuff. The only one that I'm using so far is just the uh, visor around the head. And then once again, like I showed in the unboxing, we've got lots of really cool decals, both dry transfer and some stickers. Really cool there, the penguin with the Zaku head and the missile flying in the background. That's pretty awesome. So like I said, I don't usually like to use stickers because I don't like seeing the border around there, but if I can cut that one out carefully enough, I'm probably going to use that because it's really, really cool and unique. So uh, yeah, that's about it for this kit. Like I said, the articulation is really cool. One thing I'll point out that's very interesting is how the cockpit hatch opens. You slide this part. My fingers are very big, so it's kind of difficult for me. Slide this part up and up and up and out. And then this part slides up there and you can see the pilot inside if you can. It's a little gray. And one interesting thing, if we take off the backpack, very, I was going to say carefully, but that was actually pretty easy. Here is a little switch. You can move the pilot from side to side. It's going to be kind of hard to see because there's no light, but uh, left, right, left, right, left. Uh, I don't really know the purpose of that. Uh, I guess if you want to have the pilot on one side or the other, you can choose, or you can have him like dancing in there, whatever you want to do. So just close that back up. There you go. And that's about it. Uh, like I said, the articulation is really, really nice. We've got a double jointed arm, double jointed knee. Uh, that also comes really far forward because of this skirt armor. Uh, does a pretty good job of moving out of the way like that. So it comes really far forward. Obviously very far back, no problem there. And because of the spring in here, there's no problem with that part. The ankles are pretty nice. I mean, because of this armor around the back, you can't get like a whole lot of movement there, but it does the job. And the shoulders are good. You can see they come, the shoulder joint comes out like that, that far, so it can come very far across the front of the kit like that and the shoulder armor, like this side is a shield and this side's the kind of Zaku spiked piece are on the similar parts like the RG Zaku kit or any other 2.0 Zaku Master Grade. So that's about it. This is a really really cool kit. Um, I really hope they uh, eventually do a standard release of the of the Zaku Cannon using the 2.0 frame because it's really really cool. That as well as the uh, Gelgog, Gelgug Cannon. Uh, I didn't buy the online exclusive Gelgug Cannon that's using the 2.0 frame and I'm kind of regretting it now because how awesome this kit is. So I don't know, if I can find it at a reasonable price I might pick that up one of these days but for now uh, that's going to be it for this kit and I'll see you guys next time.